More on the threat from the Islamic State and how it might factor into relations between Iran and the United States. We're joined by Mohsen Milani. He's executive director of the Center for Strategic and Diplomatic Studies. He's also a professor of politics at the University of South Florida, and that's where he joins us right now. Uh, you recently wrote in Foreign Affairs uh, a piece titled, This is What Detente Looks Like. Walk us through how the IS terrorists could actually help with the thaw between these two nations that have been estranged for so long. I'm sorry, I did not hear the last part of the question. Would well, you repeat that again? Sure. There, there's been this estrangement between Iran and the United States, and I think your, your piece kind of illustrates that perhaps IS could help thaw those relations. Yes. As the uh, nuclear negotiations uh, are going on between the world powers and Iran, something very interesting is happening in Iraq. That is the rise of IS or ISIS as a major regional and international threat. And it is ironic that the two countries, that is Iran and the US, that have had uh, acrimonious relationship in the past three decades, now find themselves fighting the same common enemy, that is ISIS. Both Iran and the US are interested to protect the territorial integrity of Iraq, that is to prevent Iraq from partitioning into three separate groups in the north, the Kurds, at the center, uh, the, the Sunnis, and in the uh, 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 south, the, the Shiites. Both Iran and the US are very supportive of the new prime minister who is going to form his government soon. Both countries are hoping that the new prime minister would have a, an inclusive government. And finally, both Iran and the US have found ISIS to be a major threat to their interests. And therefore, while I do not see any possibility of collaboration, direct collaboration between Iran and the US, I do believe that the two countries are fighting the same enemy. And therefore, without even coordinating their activities, they can, they can, in a way, fight against the same common enemy in Iraq. Could there be back channel communications going on between the two countries? I'm pretty sure there are back channels uh, uh, communication between the two. But more importantly, uh, the Iraqi government is a, a, an ally of the United States and is very close to the Islamic Republic. Uh, in the past few uh, days, we have seen the liberation of a small city in northern Iraq, a city that was inhabited by Turkmen Shiites. In liberating that city, without any coordination, the US work from the air, uh, bombing uh, ISIS uh, forces, while the pro-Iranian uh, financed and supported by Iran, pro-Iranian uh, militia, Shia groups, with the help of the Iraqi government, work together to get rid of the ISIS uh, fighters and terrorists in that city. This is a perfect example of an uncoordinated cooperation between Iran and the US against ISIS. But the messaging is very different than the reality, because Iran's President Rouhani uh, has ruled out publicly working with the U.S. on fighting regional terrorist groups. And he's hinted American actions were responsible for the creation of the Islamic State. Uh, this, of course, following the latest sanctions against Iran. How has that kind of impacted things? Uh, it is true that uh, some elements of the Islamic Republic have opposed any kind of collaboration with the U.S., as it is also true that many in the US Congress and in Washington oppose working with the Islamic Republic. But the Iranian President Rouhani and a number of other high-ranking officials in Iran have expressed, I believe rightly so, that they are willing to cooperate with the US. That does not mean that Iran and the US are becoming ally in, in Iraq. What it means is that they can get involved in uncoordinated fight against a uh, common enemy in, in ISIS. I think it is very important to understand that Iran is the most influential, the most powerful external force inside Iraq. It has excellent relationship with the, with the Kurds in the north and with the Shiites in the south, as well as with the government. And therefore, it is really unrealistic uh, to think that we can have a solution to the threat posed by the terrorists without some kind of cooperation 
from an important player such as the Islamic Republic of Iran. Professor Mohsen Malani joining us from Tampa, Florida. Thank you.